Firefighters tell us every time they responded to help you, they really put their lives on the line. Near misses like this one right there, yeah, becoming far too common nowadays. Well, tonight, ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska shows us what you can do to avoid becoming a statistic. It's aggravating. So if it's gridlock for you, it's definitely gridlock for us, too. Oh, yeah, we get shot in the bird quite a few times. Sirens blaring, horns honking. Engine 48 barrels to an afternoon call. Many turn out to be false alarms, but they won't know until they get there, if they get there, and every second counts. And if I've got a, a drowning, I'm going to want to get that as fast as I can. Kevin Bowden, affectionately referred to as Biff, slows down or even stops at green lights. That's aggravating, um, but there's really not much you can do. You just have to be prepared for them to get in your way. you, you got to be prepared to get out of their way. Clearwater police released this video of a car running a red light nearly hitting a rescue vehicle, something firefighter paramedic Casey Matt sees too often. There's been times, multiple times, where care is delayed because of our response time being delayed due to traffic. Matt's rides the box, as they call it. Rescue runs on more calls than the trucks or engines. They'll look at us like we're the bad guys and, you know, throw their arms up at us. Arms up like this woman trying to drive through an accident where a woman was seriously injured. So run into a call now. The thing that stresses them out the most is just getting there, especially with traffic the way it's been here in Clearwater today. <laughs> According to government statistics, in the past 10 years, there's been more than 31,000 accidents involving fire vehicles. 49 of those accidents killed at least one firefighter. Nationwide, since 2006, 76 firefighters died while responding to a call. Last year, a Hillsborough County fire truck was hit head-on by a driver that crossed the center lane. He died. They weren't injured. <laughs> The next time that you hear that sound... Just use your head, stay calm, stop. Let us go around you. So everyone can make it home safely. In Clearwater, Pinellas County, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.